want us to speak soft. Dr. Briggs, you can't be soft with Negroes. Right, right. Dr. Briggs, you did. You said it's the delivery. You want me to speak softly. You can't speak softly to niggas. It won't work. So we got to be aggressive. You want to know why? Because niggas respect aggression. That's why. There's two things black people respect on this earth. That's power and fear. Sometimes you gotta put fear in a Negro's mind so he listens to the God of heaven and earth. All right, doctor, what's up? It's the, it's the delivery. That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out, like, how can we get all of this out to the people? And, and, and I'm just telling you, just from the outside looking in, this is what a lot of people are saying. Like, when I talk to my colleagues and all of them, it's like, it's the delivery. Like, how can we get this information to them without being in their face? And they, they think y'all are aggressive. And I'm like, well, y'all don't, don't speak. When the last time you ever spoke to any of them? When the last time you probably walked, you never said nothing to them? Or the ask of why is it so aggressive? Why is the message so aggressive? Why is everything such a yeah, yeah, yeah in your face instead of hey, brother, come in? You know we supposed to be in the tour, and this is why we supposed to be in the tour. This What's your name? Is, Dr. Cornell Briggs. Dr. Cornell Briggs. My name is Matt. All right. Now, I'm gonna tell you something, Cornell Briggs. I know it's this area. Yeah. With any of these Negroes out here, if I walked up to them and said, brother, we have to keep the tour, brother. Would they respect me? This way, Would they respect me no, if I, I said that, that the, the, the nice way? Now, how many times have we been saying this? Answer the question. Answer the question. How many times have we been saying this? A lot. Okay, so why can't we all? You you got the message, right? Hold on. No, no, you, Hold got, on. you got the message. Hold so on. What, I don't have the message. The okay. Bible got the message. Well, I'm going to tell, tell, tell you Dr. This Briggs, way. I got to let you know something. Got to let you know something. You said you believe in the Bible, right? No, no, no. I did let you talk. Did that come out my mouth? Do you believe in the Bible? No. Okay, I, I believe okay. that's a history. I, I believe okay. that's a history book for black people. It's our history. Okay. I believe that. It's, so it's, man, it's, it's written by men. So you believe in what? Every book is written by men, doctor. You can't be a doctor without reading books that was written by men. Oh, so my question. You went to law school to study a book that was written by men. Exactly. Come so, on, man. So let's get out of That's all I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. I got to let you know something, Dr. Briggs. Yes. You just said it's the delivery. You just agree with me that if my delivery was softer, these Negroes wouldn't respect that? Some. Now, some. none of them. Because black people don't respect softness. You're, 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 that's why, that's, that's why, that's, that's why all assuming. these pastors and teachers and preachers, they not doing but nothing for assuming. the community. Somebody did that to me. I'm not doing no assuming. I'm not, I'm not, it's I'm all fact. I'm not here to it's all fact. The fact is, all of these churches in all of our neighborhoods, why are Taking we still at money. the bottom? Taking our money. Because they speaking soft to the people. Right. Read Ezekiel chapter Nobody 2. Spoke We're going to show. Me. Read. Nobody spoke Ezekiel me. chapter 2, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. He said, You want to know why you can't? You want to know why you don't believe in the Bible? Because you talk while it's being read. Dude, I, I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak. You said it's the delivery. Can I rebuttal that what you just said? Or going. do I have to let you speak for 10 minutes? Bro, we're not even having a dialogue. A dialogue I'm trying to. How? You keep talking and jumping jump to the bottom. All I did was I let you speak. You said it's the delivery. You went over there to, to Ivy, right? And said it's how they speak. You want us to speak soft. Dr. Briggs, you can't be soft with Negroes. Right, right. Dr. Briggs, you did. You said it's the delivery. You want me to speak softly. 
You can't speak softly to niggas. It won't work. So we gotta be aggressive. You wanna know why? Because niggas respect aggression. That's why. There's two things black people respect on this earth. That's power and fear. Sometimes you gotta put fear in a Negro's mind so he listens to the God of heaven and earth. That's why you said about the Torah. We gotta go back to the Torah. You gotta go back to the Torah, right? Come on, man. You're not smarter than me, doctor. Who you? You're not smarter than me. Negro is a is a Latin word that means black. It means God. No, it doesn't. It's N G R. There's Negro. N G R. N G R. N G R. That's what. That's what. That means nothing. What resource do you have? What what primary or secondary source can I go to to find out that N G R means God? What primary or secondary source oh, yeah. can I go to? Not a man, because niggas lie. Okay. So what primary or secondary source can I go to to tell me that have NGR been, means God? Have you been to the... Um, you see all this talking that we're doing? I ain't question. never went to the Bible once. You just asked me a question. Go ahead. Have you been to the museum in London? They got the whole straw right there. I can see it. And it, it tells me where it comes. It's God. the proof. It's right there. Nobody's denying it. That is absolutely incorrect because the museum in london i'm gonna tell him and him the museum in london that he's talking about actually has a very old book they got to turn the pages for you yeah we've been there we actually took pictures of the actual book okay so they got to turn the page for you because it's so delicate yeah. in that actual book this land right here it's called Negro Land. Negro Land. And Judah is right there in the same book. Nowhere in that book does it say NGR oh, means no, no. God. Okay, listen, listen. Okay. Listen. Now, was that not the question that I asked him? Okay. All I said, right. where, what primary okay, right. or secondary source okay. shows me that NGR means God? Okay, I will. He told me a man's name okay. and then went to the London thing like we're not that educated. I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm I, saying? I, I, I'm I don't saying, believe you a doctor. I'm I think you're lying. I'm not saying that you're not. Seven. I'm not even saying that you're saying you took it to verse 7. I can't. You know, so speak my words unto them. We're speaking God's words, right. Dr. Reed. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Whether you listen or whether you don't, we're speaking God's words. That's right. Ain't no Negro gonna come over here because it's men like that that leave our community soft. Yeah, right. Men like that leave the community soft. You wanna know how? You wanna know how? Because all they focus on is economics. Now let me ask you a question, Ivy. You've been sitting and listening for a long time. And brother right here, uh, Josh, right? Josh? Now let me ask you this. How many businesses do you own? I own, I own my own business. I own my own business. I own three subways in this whole city. I feed a lot of fucking families, bro. Don't tell me talking about and what I do in my subway, community. Are you kidding me? In that subway, you got are you feeding them? You got it, bro. In that subway, I'm not, I'm I'm not, not feeding no fucking hamburgers. I'm not feeding no fucking uh, bacon. I'm not I'm feeding healthy food. Are you kidding me? But in the Torah, right. in the Torah, he said that we got to keep the Sabbath day holy. Do he do that? In the Torah, they said to wear fringes. Do he do that? In the Torah, they say not to eat pork. Do he do that? He sells it. He sells it. You know what I'm saying? We got to stop the hypocrisy in the black community. Still working for the white man. Because all of them franchises, you still got to pay taxes. Matter of fact, you got to buy into that franchise. You got to follow the rules of that franchise. And you got to pay a franchise fee. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Subway is the cheapest franchise to buy into. How do I know that? How do I know that? How do I know that Subway is the cheapest franchise to buy into? It's 10 grand. I know all the paperwork. You want to know how? Because we've done it already. Bring it up. Oh, yeah. These Negroes, we got jobs. We got families. We got wives. We got kids. We got responsibilities. Right. We have businesses. I'm a part of several. I have a mechanics company, a fitness company. You know what I'm saying? I have to start credit counseling if I damn well please. But guess what? What is that going to do for you, Ivan, that said you're Panamanian, but the word Panamanian is not in the darn world Bible? You know what I'm saying? Israelite is. Y'all will conquer by conquistadors. Hey, I'm going to let you know a, a little known secret about those conquistadors, I mean. Those conquistadors were Jewish people. Spanish-speaking Jewish people. Is doctor going to tell you that? I ain't never known a doctor 
it worked for Subway. I'm just saying. Exactly. Well, I'm out. just saying. Well, bring it up. I wanted to say why he was here. That's why I, I say provocative things to make people stay. You wanna know why? Because you know what a Negro gonna do? They're gonna try to defend themselves. Right. That's why in the Bible it said we speak God's words to them. What's the one to say? Make your forehead hard against their forehead. Three and eight. Read that. Ezekiel chapter three, verse eight. This is the problem with his version of our delivery. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. When it said make your face strong against their faces, what do y'all think that it means? Huh? And they feel a precedent that he's made our faces strong against. Read verse 7. Verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. The house of Israel don't listen. Y'all just saw a prime example of that just now. You know what I'm saying? He said we got to go back to the Torah. I go to the Torah and he want to over talk it. Read. For they will not hearken unto me. He said they won't listen to God. That damn shit ain't going to listen to us. Read. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. They're impudent and hard-hearted. You know hard? The hard is talking about your mind. He said they're impudent and hard-hearted. Meaning they're hard-headed. They got what they think in their mind. That's why the 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 car holding. 52 years. How often do you hear these same three quote-unquote solutions? We need economics, we need education. We need to come together. Only when we're uh, voting. Huh? Only when we're voting. Only, and, and voting. So we need politics, we need education, and we need economics. How many times in 52 years have you heard those be the thrown out uh, solutions to black problems? Not till lately. Huh? Not till lately. Not till lately? But guess what? I've heard it all my life. I'm 35. All my life I've been hearing the same thing. We need economics. We need to start more businesses. But then when you start a business, you hire Pookie from down the street. He a thief. So you hire him. Now he's stealing out the business. You hire Ray Ray from down the street. You hire him. He's, he's smashing all the females that work there. Half of them can't even report for work because they at home, sick or pregnant. Made, made hella damn uh, single parents. You know what I'm saying? You want to start a business with somebody you can't trust. You want to start a business with somebody that don't have the proper education to know how to do things and how not to do things. How many times we see in business, especially brothers going business together, the business don't last because somebody does something corrupt. Right. Never do we hear, oh, we got to change our mindset. Oh, we got, we got to reform our thoughts. We got to start thinking different. You know what I'm saying? Read on. Verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their face when it says make your face strong against their face y'all can obviously look at me and see i'm light-skinned now what's the common consensus of light-skinned people in this country from other black people come on now don't play dumb i'm from new Orleans. i was raised in the hood my entire damn life what's the consensus when niggas look at light-skinned people Huh? Well, half breed, breed with else? Weak, weak. weak, soft, like a skin tone, accounts for some sort of strength. Yeah. Yeah. You said make your face hard against their faces, meaning, why? Willie Lynch, why? Exactly. It's a, it's a Willie Lynch letter. Yeah. But it's saying, it's saying, Make your face hard against their faces. Because black people, they come up with some mean mugs out this world. Don't they? So we got to make our face hard against their faces. Meaning we got to stand face to face with them. Read. In thy forehead, strong against their forehead. Meaning your mind strong against their mind. Ain't nobody going to come over here and tell us anything about this book. You're going to sit and you're going to listen. If you try to say something about it, I'm going to force you to prove it. And when you don't got the proof, you're getting your ass cut up. That's why I say, he said, NGR means God, right? Come on now. When you ever heard that? 52 years. Whenever you heard NGR meaning God? Never. Not till today. Not till today. That's some new stuff in the earth. 
Hey, but guess what? We'll get to you. He said, make your face strong against their faces, your forehead hard against theirs. Why? Because we know what we're talking about. And black people are hard-headed. And a lot of times, it takes for us to get on their level in order to get them to come in. That's right. Now, you, we can get on intellectual levels. You know what I'm saying? I've been to college. I wasn't a hoodlum my whole life. At some point in time, I did transform. You know what I'm saying? We can get on the intellectual level, and I can get on the ignorant level, too. Exactly. Exactly. But the one thing that we can't adapt to, Romans 12 and 2. This is what we can't adapt to. This is one thing we can't adapt to. Why? Because it don't work for us. How many times do you see white people do something and they get away with it? Black people do the same exact thing and go to jail for 40 years. Yeah, you want to know why? We touched on it earlier. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They run this place. That's why they laws could bend to them. They run this place. And that's, hey, and that's why we're a threat. Because we ain't just sitting here talking. We literally putting forth effort to change the mind of our people. Read. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. If we not conform to this world. The Bible says don't be conformed to this world. The ways of this world is wicked. Sis, sis, let me ask you a question. Do you like single parent homes? How do we stop it? I'm gonna show you. You see that? We have one problem that I just brought up. Single parent homes, right? Now, I asked her how do we stop it? She don't know, that's understandable. Nobody ever taught us how to stop single parent homes, right? Read it again. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We gotta renew our mind. Watch this, hold up, sister. I'm gonna show you. Hey, the camera is not on you. The camera not on you, it's facing me, actually. Hebrews 13 to 4. I'm gonna show you how to stop single parent homes. Read. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible say marriage is honorable. Do you know what kind of men want to be fathers? Husbands. Right, right. That's right. That's, that come with marriage. A boyfriend, think about that word, boy, friend. Boy, he ain't say my man friend. You're a man when you become a husband. If you smashing a girl and y'all ain't married, you're still a little boy. And little boys get little girls pregnant. This is why single parent households run rampant because marriage is not honorable. You understand, sis? Because look, you meet somebody, you don't have sex with them at all. Y'all get to know one another, y'all get married. Once y'all get married, y'all have sex, you get pregnant. Is he shocked? Is he worried? Is he concerned? That's kind of like, all right, my wife got pregnant. He kind of wanted that to happen. Why he got married? Black people don't like marriage nowadays. In your time, eight out of 10 people was married. Now when your time is eight out of 10 people is unmarried. And that, that, that 2% that is married, 70% of them in divorce. Why? Because marriage is not honorable. It's not looked at as work. Three. Marriage is honorable and all. It's a bad and the fail. Whatever y'all do in y'all bed of marriage, this is whatever y'all do, because y'all married. That's your woman. Three. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Sometimes the judgment for being a whoremonger or the judgment for being an adulterer Having sex outside of marriage is a baby. The judgment of the, the woman is the child. Because nine times out of ten, she's going to have to keep the child. The judgment for the man is being put on. Nope. Nope. Negroes don't get that no more. 52 years, we call niggas hoes too. 
Right. Yes. We, we'll call you a hoe too. If you're sleeping with a bunch of women, you ain't, that ain't praiseworthy. Especially with all the diseases running around here. We ain't giving people that no more off of that. That ain't cool no more. The woman, listen, the woman, her judgment is to take care of that baby. The man's judgment is child support. Now you got the white man telling you how much to pay this woman for a child that may or may not be yours. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nowadays, they could put you on child support from conception. Meaning while she's pregnant, you pay a child support. The baby not even here, and you pay a child support. So you could pay nine, ten months worth of child support, have the baby be born, or it ain't your baby, and guess what? You just lost out on nine months worth of money. <laughs> and then they're probably still gonna keep you on child support. It has happened. It has happened. Yeah, but guess what? A lot of the brothers wouldn't have to get with a woman with a baby if marriage was on them. Right. They wouldn't. But we got to transform that mindset. Watch this, Psalms 19 and 3. Uh, 7, my bad, 7. We got to transform that mindset. Because, look. Going off of what the doctor said earlier, right, Josh? Right, I'm going off of what the doctor said earlier. He said we need businesses, right? What do men with a lot of money tend to do? Now, we're talking about women and men. Huh? We tend to be whores once we have a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So a brother with a whole lot of bread he looking to spend that bread on whoever is trying to accept it. We need to change the mindset. We can have businesses all day, but if you're going to get a business and sleep with 16 different women, what good is that going to do for our community as a whole? What? Nothing. Exactly. You're going to destroy a bunch of women, they're going to run around, and they're going to raise up destroyed children. What? And those destroyed children are going to grow up and rob you. Read. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. God's law is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. Does what? Converting the soul. That converts our soul. The law of God. Because guess what? Ivan, can you grow a full beard? Why you shave? Why? To fit into the culture? That's what we all do. You can't have a job, you got a big ass beard, you got a baby, no. you got a job, you got a job, you got a job, you got a job, you got a job. Why you ain't asking me? I'm just saying. Your beard's small, your beard's small. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a secret, Kalia, it's not a secret. You got a little beard, all right? Everybody out here got jobs. You can have a beard and have a job. The reason why we do it, because of that woman. Right. You know, just like I know, they like the goatee. Right. They like the mustache and just the chin hair. And a lot of it is, you know, us being in society over a certain amount of years, we just got used to it. But guess what? Part of that changing of the mind is knowing that us as Israelite men, we gotta grow a beard. It don't have to be old big beard like me. It could be a small beard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't cut into it. Let's get that law right quick. Read. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 4. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So we're not supposed to make our heads bald. If you go and bald, that's one thing. You're not supposed to take a razor to your head and make it bald. Read. Neither shall they shave of the corner of their beard. The corner of your beard is that natural line that goes all the way across. 
You're not supposed to cut into that. So you can have your beard trimmed down, but it better be the natural line. You know what I'm saying? We're kings. We, we, we could be well-groomed. Just don't cut into your beard. You know what I'm saying? That's a law. You want to know why? Go to Leviticus 18 and 2. I'm going to show you why. Because we talked about, he talked about Christ going into Egypt when he was young, right? Talked about us being in Egypt as a, as a nation of people, right? In captivity. 400 years in Egypt, what you think we started to do? We started to fit in just like them. Because what a lot of people don't understand is in Egypt, it was an abomination to have body hair. So they used to shave off all of their body hair so they could be smooth. And then they'll put on a wig. Don't they? That don't make no damn sense. They'll shave off all their hair and, and put a wig on. Which goes to show you what our sisters is doing nowadays, how they'll shave off all their hair and they put a wig on. That's an Egyptian custom. They need to stop that. Read. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt, where ye dwell, shall ye not do. Say, so after the doings of the land of Egypt, don't do after Egypt. Don't do what they do. Want to know why? Because we separate. The Egyptians shave their face. We're not supposed to do that. The Egyptians shave their hair. We're not supposed to do that. The Egyptians was having homosexual sex and incest, sleeping with their mama and their sister. We're not supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? That law in, in the Bible when it says, don't lie with man as you lie with a woman, that came from Leviticus 18. The top of Leviticus 18 said, don't do after the doings of the land of Egypt. That goes to show you in its context, Egyptians was doing all of that. We ain't supposed to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? You got a question? You've been listening for a minute. And you just see a couple different spirits come up here. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to deal with the doctor. But a lot of times, our people don't understand the necessity that we need. If I was, a, like I said, if I was to come up to you, brother, God is love. John 3, C. Would you sit here and listen to me? Come like, hell no. Weak ass little nigga. I, I'm, I might as well just go in the store. Exactly. We not supposed to be doing that. We're a race of kings. You think kings speak self? And we're supposed to be Christ-like? Matthew 7, 29. I'm going to show you why it's important for us to be Christ-like. And this is, a, this is a problem that not just white people have, but a lot of black people have it. That's why white people, they don't really have to do much to us. You know what I'm saying? All they got to do, yeah. All they got to do is just wait for our own people to come against us. That's it. It's called the watchdog. Watch what the Bible say about Christ. Read. Matthew chapter 7 verse 29. For he taught them as one, having authority, and not as the scribes. For he taught them as one, having authority, and not as the scribes. That's why we teach the way we teach. We got authority here. Period. If they got Negroes selling drugs, this our block until we leave. Go sit down somewhere and listen. After that, when we leave, then you can do whatever you want to do. But while the men of the Lord are standing here, we control this. That's right. And that's everywhere. That's in Texas. That's in New Orleans. That's in New York. That's in Cali. That's in South and North Carolina. Wherever we are teaching, we run that spot. You doing something you ain't got no business, we will mess your money up. They have no problem doing it. Because we teach with authority. And that's what black people don't like. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you. 
his word.